set down as shown here and the complements from the base 10 are written alongside. The minus signs indicate that 8 is 2 less than 10 and 9 is 1 less than 10. The answer is obtained in two parts and to distinguish these a diagonal stroke is placed in the middle of the answer line. In the right hand part of the answer is found by multiplying the two complements that is 2 multiplied by 1 equals 2. There are four ways to obtain the left hand part of the answer. First one being the base 10 minus both complements 10 minus 2 minus 1 equals 7. The second one being the sum of the numbers to be multiplied minus the base that is 8 plus 9 minus 10 equals 7. The third one being you cross subtract 8 minus 1 equals 7. And the last one cross subtract 9 minus 2 which also equals 7. The product is thus 8 multiplied by 9 equals 72. In practice, it will be found that the cross subtraction method is simpler and more efficient. With cross subtraction, there is a choice and whichever is easiest should be taken. This method of multiplication is very old and it is from the cross subtraction involved that we have our cross symbol used for multiplication. For instance, let's take the example to illustrate the all from 9 division method and how to set out the sums. Let's divide 111 by 8. For a single digit divisor, a space of one line is left before drawing the answer line. A reminder stroke is placed so that the number of digits in the divisor 1 is the same as the number of digits after the stroke. The complement of the divisor 2 is written below the 8. The first digit of the dividend is brought straight down into the answer. The first quotient digit 1 is multiplied by the complement 2 and the answer is placed below the next dividend digit. This second column is added up that is 1 plus 2 equals 3 and the answer is the next quotient digit. The new quotient digit 3 is multiplied by the complement 2 giving 6 which is placed in the next column. The reminder column is then added up and the answer is 13 reminder being 7. Let's take an example to illustrate how to start and finish using complements more than once in a single subtraction. 6,71,245 minus 3,80,674 it gives 5 minus 4 equals 1 the difference being 3 and complement being 7 and also the difference being 4 and complement being 5. 1 minus 0 minus 1 equals 0. Difference 1 and complement 9. 6 minus 3 minus 1 equals 2. The final answer is 2,90,571. There are many applications of this short rule and a simple example will show how it works in practice. For instance, if we have to multiply 42 by 13, starting at the left, multiply the two left hand most digits vertically, that is 4 multiplied by 1 equals 4, and the set the answer down underneath as the left hand most part of the answer. We then multiply 4 by 3 and 2 by 1 crosswise and add these two products together which is 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12 and 2 multiplied by 1 equals 2 and 12 plus 2 
equals 14. Set down the 4 as the next answer digit and carry the 1 to the left. We multiply 2 by 3 vertically and set down the answer 6 as the right hand most answer digit. Add in the carry digit to give the answer 546. The vertically and crosswise method may also be started from the right hand end of the numbers. The advantage is that carry digits can be added in as the working proceeds and so the answer comes in one line instead of the two. Care must be taken with setting out and it is generally easier if spaces are left between the digits. The steps are as follows. 2 multiplied with 3 equals 6. 4 multiplied with 3 added to 2 multiplied by 1 equals 14 and 4 multiplied by 1 plus 1 equals 5. The vertically and crosswise method may easily be extended to multiplying numbers containing any number of digits but for now we take up the case of multiplying two three digit numbers. Let's take multiply 362 by 134. Starting from the left the first answer digit is 3 multiplied by 1 which equals 3. The next answer digit is the sum of the cross product of the four left hand most digits that is 3 multiplied by 3 plus 6 multiplied by 1 equals 15. The middle step is to add the cross product of all 6 digits in the following order. 3 multiplied by 4 plus 6 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 1 which equals 32. The sum of the cross product of the 4 right hand most digits gives the next answer digit that is 6 multiplied by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 3 which equals 30. The final step is the product of the two right hand most digits which is 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. After adding up the carry digits the answer is found to be 48,508. The diagram shown below may help remember the vertically and crosswise pattern required for multiplying two three digit numbers together. Each dot represents a digit in the number and the lines joining the dots stand for digits to be multiplied. Addition using vertically and crosswise with coprime denominators. If the denominators in the two fractions to be added are coprime, that is, their highest common factor is 1, then the vertically and crosswise sutra is brought into play. The denominator of the answer is simply obtained by multiplying the two denominators together. The numerator is obtained by calculating the sum of the cross product of all four numbers. The following example illustrates this quick method for adding such fractions. Here are the denominators coprime? Yes, the denominator is 5 multiplied by 7 which equals 35. The numerator is the sum of the cross product that is 2 multiplied by 7 plus 3 multiplied by 5 equals 14 plus 15 which equals 29. Therefore, the answer is 29 by 35. For subtraction of fractions whose denominators are coprime, the process is almost the same as for the addition, except that instead of finding the sum of the cross product, we use the difference of the cross product. Are the denominators coprime? Yes. Denominator is 5 multiplied by 7, which equals 35. The numerator is the difference of the cross product, that is 3 multiplied by 5 minus 2 multiplied by 7 equals 15 minus 14 which equals 1. Example illustrates how to proceed with this method of division. Let's take for example 256 divided by 11. The base of the divisor is 10. The divisor 11 is one more than the base and so 
the surplus is 1. This 1 is transposed into 1 and written underneath. The rest of the process is very much as before. 2 is brought down, therefore 2 multiplied by by 1 equals by 2. By 2 which is written below the next digit 5, 5 plus by 2 equals 3 gives the next answer digit 3 multiplied by by 1 equals by 3 6 plus by 3 equals 3 which gives the remainder division of fractions the division of one fraction by another is an application of the transpose and edges sutra which was met in another context this rule has a large number of uses in algebra as well as other topics but here it tells us what to do when dividing fractions transpose means turn the second fraction upside down and adjust tells us to change the sign from division to multiplication in the given example the second fraction 5 by 8 is transposed to 8 by 5 and the sign is adjusted to multiplication the two fractions are then cancelled down and multiplied in the usual way to give the answer of 7 by 10. Using a working base Having used the all from 9 and the last from 10 rule in chapter 1 for multiplying numbers which are both close to a base of 10, 100, 1000 etc. We shall now go on to consider using the same method for working bases. A working base is a base which can be related to a power of 10 by ratio. For example, if we wish to multiply 51 and 53 together, we may use a base of 50 since 50 is 5 times 10. There is one new step to this method. To use a working base, we employ the proportionately rule. In the given example, 203 multiplied by 207, taking 100 as a real base and 200 as a working base, the sum is set out with 200 which equals 100 multiplied by 2 set out as above. The surplus amounts are put down on the right in the usual fashion and these are multiplied together to give the right hand part of the answer that is 3 multiplied by 7 equals 21. The left hand part of the answer is then found by cross addition that is 207 plus 3 which equals 210. Finally we take the number which is used to obtain the working base from the real base that is 2 and multiply the left hand part of the answer by that 2 to give 420. The right hand part of the answer is left alone and so the final answer is 42,021. Points to remember Many such difficulties in learning mathematics enter into a long list if prepared by an experienced teacher of mathematics. Volumes have been written on the diagnosis of learning difficulties related to mathematics and remedial techniques. Learning mathematics is an unpleasant experience to some students mainly because it involves mental exercise. Of late, a few teachers and scholars have revived interest